Let's make homemade vegan ravioli that's easier than you think. Today we are going to walk you through how to make your very own homemade vegan ravioli. This is such a fun kitchen project for the holidays or anytime you have a little extra time off and you want to spend some time with your partner, your friends, your kids, get in the kitchen and just do something really fun. And I bet it's easier to make than you think it is. First, we're going to make that spicy Italian quinoa meat by adding all of the ingredients, including our tomato basil pasta sauce from Organicville to a bowl and stirring it until it's completely combined. From here, we're gonna spread this on a baking sheet and bake it at 375 Fahrenheit for about 30 to 40 minutes, stopping halfway through to stir. Next, we're going to make our vegan spinach ricotta by adding all of the ingredients to a blender or food processor and blending it up until everything is nice and smooth and creamy. So T just added the spinach and soaked cashews and in go the onion and garlic, the tofu, that is some firm tofu pressed. You wanna break it apart so it blends up easily. And then we have some olive oil and lemon juice and some spices, including nutritional yeast. Pulse it a few times to get it going and then blend everything up until it is smooth and creamy. Now it's time to make your pasta dough. We're going to start by whisking together the whole wheat and all-purpose flour with some salt and pepper. Next, you wanna make a well in the center of that dry mixture and pour in some warm water. We're going to stir this until it becomes a rough, shaggy dough. Show you what that looks like next. So this is what our shaggy dough looks like. We're now gonna get in there with our hands on a lightly floured surface and knead this until it is mostly not sticky, like it's not super sticking to your fingers. Once you have your dough, you're going to cut it into about four equal pieces. Roll it out as thinly as you possibly can with a rolling pin. If you got a pasta cutter, use it. Then as you see Terrence doing, you're just going to Make the dough that you've rolled out into a rectangle or a square by cutting off any excess. We're using a ravioli wheel today, but feel free to use a knife as well. Then you're going to measure three inch squares and cut those out. It does not have to be perfect. Have fun with it, accept a little bit of <laughs> imperfection. They're homemade raviolis. Now we're going to form our ravioli. So I'll show you how to form one of them. And this is just my method that works for me. I'm going to take one square, pull on it a little bit. You just, you don't want it to break. Put that down and I'm gonna to top it with a tablespoon of the filling that we have. So now to cover this ravioli, we're gonna take another square. We're gonna stretch that out a little bit, very gently, and drape it atop that filling. There we go. Now the way I like to seal them personally is get a little bit of water on your fingers and press down. Then get a fork, get that a little wet, and you can use the fork to really seal the ends there. Pressing all the way through the dough. Here is the final product. We have boiled our ravioli for about five minutes and then heated them through in our marinara sauce. Oh, they look and smell so, so good.
look so good. <laughs> All right, coming on in. All right, it's messy. <laughs> Oh my god! What a flavor! Mm, mm. Oh, 